1913, 56-year-old Woodrow Wilson was inaugurated President of the United States. He came to the job with little practical experience. Still, he arrived in Washington confident, determined to change America. This man is one of the great legislative presidents of all American history. His only competitors in the 20th century are Franklin Roosevelt with the New Deal and Lyndon Johnson with the, the Great Society. But just over a year after he assumed office, World War I swept across Europe. And Wilson committed to not just changing the United States, but to changing the world. Wilson was a firm believer in the power of ideas. And he thought that an idea could move individuals, an idea could move nations. And Wilson held out to the American people a vision of what, first of all, domestic democracy could be, and then what American democracy could mean to the world. No peace can or ought to last which does not recognize and accept the principle that governments derive all their just powers from the consent of the governed. Woodrow Wilson's ideas were so filled with right and wrong and purpose, almost divine purpose. And he saw this country in a way that we really want to see it. I mean, I want to see it that way. A lot of people want to see it that way. Although Woodrow Wilson didn't live long enough to see his dream of lasting international cooperation become reality, decades after his death, in the somber aftermath of World War II, his ideals once again took center stage. <laughs> 